Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. Derek Reacts back at it again, and today we're going to be looking at Alanis Morissette live with Uninvited. I'm looking forward to this. This is my first time reacting to Alanis Morissette, and um, I'm looking forward to this Patreon requests. Um, before we get to the video, please take a moment, comment, like, and subscribe. I would love to your feedback. It makes videos like these all the more possible. And also take a moment to follow me and like me both on Instagram and on Facebook. And guys, yes, you can uh, find me on Patreon. Be sure to check the link below. It makes videos like these all the more possible. Your voice. Your recommendations heard. All right, guys, without further ado, let's go. Like oh. anyone would be, I am flattered by your oh. fascination with me. Our voice is very nice. Oh it's crazy. my god, beautiful. Notice notice how she's singing here in a very, very um low fashion, but is also um it's 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 just a very steady, steady steady progression. Um that piano, those piano keys are very, very catchy. It almost so sounds like a um like a har like it almost sounds like Halloween, like you know, a Halloween type of thing, like very dark. But he Oh. Ooh. Look at this. Wow. Must be strangely excited to watch the static square. Oh God. So we're getting a lot of drums now, a lot of strings. There's a big orchestration behind this. I didn't even know that. Oh my God, that's so so, so beautiful. Um, and her voice is soaring. She's soaring, hearing the, hitting those high notes. Very nice, very beautifully done. Guys, the amount of build that's into this song, it's amazing. It starts off with nothing, completely bare with just those piano keys. And ever so nicely, they're later back there. You still hear them, they're there. It's just all the instrumentation came in to build this, to build this and make this a bigger climatic moment. Notice the drums and how it just breaks and busts down. Um, and those guitars, oh, just instrumentation. This is, I'm loving it. And then her voice on top of it. Oh my god. Strings. Huh. So dramatic. Very dramatic. Very dramatic and dark. And notice which, how she moves. She kind of does like a little wobbling thing when she sings. It almost seems like it, she kind of like does that so she can expel more, more breathability and more voice. Um, and she opens her mouth very, very wide to release those notes. Um, and sing and soar like that. She's she's incredible. She has a, she's like in the zone. A lot of strings, a lot of dramatics. Very dramatic song. Uh, uh, now we're getting. Uh, uh, I don't think you Oh my 
God. But I need a moment to deliver right. Oh my God, so beautiful. Beautifully done, beautifully executed. Alanis Morissette delivers, delivers on this song. And I'm gonna give it my stamp of approval. Derek Reacts coming at you all the way. Why? Because it has all those things that I love and you guys know that already. Sonically, it won me over. Lyrically, it's amazing. Her voice is unbelievable. Instrumentation, she sounds great live, sounds fabulous live. Deserves every little bit ounce of recognition for the song. It is amazing and it's floored. She floored it, completely floored it, guys. You want to talk about orchestration live with those strings, that pure rock heavy guitar guitar work, all those rock rock qualities to make this um it it was it was it was slow. It was a slow progressive movement of a song that delivered all those those anticipations and those climatic moments. Very climatic, very climatic with instrumentation and her voice. You saw when she paused there, when the, the instrumentation paused, and then her voice was going to come and blow up. I was expecting that. I was so expecting that because I knew it was coming. Um, Uninvited is driven by four piano notes and builds on instrumentation climax. It's haunting. It's dark. It's cryptic. The lyrics are Oof, those lyrics are amazing, guys. Amazing. Like anyone would be, I am flattered by your fascination with me. Like any hot-blooded woman, I have simply wanted an object to crave. My God. <laughs> you want to talk about... <laughs> Holy crap. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Um, this song, it was familiar. It sounded familiar because why it was re it was released in the soundtrack as uh, the movie I, I recognize, City of Angels, on February 1998. It became... Their first new recording since her international debut album, Jagged Little Pill, which was very highly successful. I probably want to look into that, too. Um, that was a very successful album by Alanis. But this song was featured on City of Angels um, with uh, Meg Ryan and what's that guy's name? Nicolas Cage? Yeah. So it's very, very interesting. I would love love to dig into that deeper. And guys, this, this won a lot of awards. It was nominated for three Grammys. Uh, 1999 Best Female Rock Vocal Performance, Best Rock Song, and Best Song Written Specifically for Motion Picture Television. You know, it won an ASCAP uh, Award for Most Performed Song in Motion Pictures and received the Golden Globe nomination for Original Song Motion Picture. And it was entered in About.com's Top 10 Alanis Morissette's Lyrics. You know, Top 10. She's lyrically brilliant, this woman. L lyrically brilliant. Um... It's amazing, amazing. Uh, it was also Marissette's fourth uh, number one single, uh, Top 40, mainstream chart. It reached number five on Adult Top 40, and also uh, Top 40 on Modern Rock Track. And Worldwide Unvited was a commercial success, success, selling 7 million copies. Amazing, guys. Now, here's the thing that's a little... I'm going to take this with a grain of salt. found this online. Song is about an affair between a young girl and an older man, and it's known that Alanis was involved with an older man when she was a minor, um, and, believe, and I believe it lasted for quite a while. The song is about a struggle with knowing it is wrong, but, like the, but liking the attention. It's also about how exciting it must be for him. She's repeatedly saying that the whole situation is wrong. At the end, she is debating whether or not this is worth it. I need a moment to deliberate. When the music comes crashing back, she decided that she will continue with the affair. How accurate and how believable that is, I'm not sure. But it was uh, suggested that that may have been kind of like what's going on. Um, however, I want to mention this. In a featurette about making the film, City of Angels, um, she explains, I was going through a certain thing in my own life at the time that sort of, sort of co coincided at the same time that I could write about it and myself could be something that Meg's character could be communicating throughout. 
She continues, I believe in intuition on your gut voice. Some might call angels and just might believe in that. There are all kinds of different terms and, and gods that we can use for it, but I believe in it. You don't really know how amazing things are unless you have the contrast of things not being amazing for a certain amount of time and will happen like that in theory. So that's a possibility. I'm not entirely sure. Take that with a grain of salt. We'll see what happens. Um, interesting to know. Interesting to know. So um, this is an amazing song. I mean, just think about the instrumentation that was involved with this to create this. This is a long song. I mean, it felt like it was long, but I think what happened was it's four minutes long. What happened is, is that the way it's composed and the way it's structured gives it that feeling like it was very, very long, especially with those instrumentation breaks. Um, I'm not sure if it's heavy with lyrics. I don't think it's heavy with lyrics, but striking nonetheless, striking nonetheless. Um, and, you know, uh, so this, this wasn't released in any of her albums, only in the soundtrack of City of Angels. So just imagine... Um, I mean, it did well. It did well regardless. Just imagine if it was part of some type of album of hers, you know. That'd be amazing. I would love to look into more Alanis Morissette's work. I know she was very successful in the 90s. Um, and, uh, you know, she had that rock that rock status, you know, of the 90s that, that was very popular at the time. So I would love to look into that. Um, she totally blew me away here, especially with her control, her voice. She was so in the zone. You can see she was in the zone. So that does it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I loved it. Until next time, see you guys later. Hey, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more videos like these, be sure to check this one out. And also, take a moment to comment, like, and smash the subscribe button to stay on all the latest reaction videos. And guys, yes, I have a Patreon link down below. Be sure to check that out. Help support the channel. Makes your voice, your recommendations all the more possible. Take care, guys. Love you guys. Peace.